Hello everybody, welcome back to Minji Drive. So today we're going to check out the Gavel Vertex, which is a mod that includes this car, the Gavel Vertex. And uh, the crazy thing is that it comes in 80 different configurations. And uh, some of them are, you know, rational. And uh, some of them are rather autistic. Anyways, so this is supposed to be kind of a cheap, small American hatchback. And uh, right in front of us, we have the base model with a four cylinder engine. So I'm gonna turn it on. Pretty, pretty average. The only thing that kind of bothers me is the fucking momentum that this engine has. This is insane. Anyways, let's start driving it. So front wheel drive, crazy, crazy traction control, and uh, yeah, nothing too special. So one thing, it kind of handles like an automation car and uh, I'm not too sure why that is but yeah it's kind of strange also another thing that is kind of weird are the tail lights I swear I've already seen these tail lights somewhere and by that I mean I already built a car in automation with these tail lights I'm pretty sure as for the interior it's actually pretty well made so the car tells you when uh, all of these systems kick in, such as ABS and uh, traction control. And also it tells you when to shift. So as you'll see now, there's that little arrow that pops up, which is pretty neat. Yeah, just generally the interior is pretty well thought out and pretty nicely detailed. Just gonna give you a nice look at it. As you can see, pretty nice also tells you that there's a small problem. So yeah, as for deformation, it's pretty okay. I've noticed some pretty severe clipping in some areas, but generally it's pretty okay. So now I'll show you the so-called Echo Boost. And no, it's not Echo Boost. It's actually called the Echo Boost. Basically, this is a configuration with a three cylinder engine, which has in mind fuel economy. So this car actually sounds better in my opinion than the four cylinder. No, it just sounds more lively and it doesn't have that ridiculous engine momentum. One cool thing about the Vertex is the reverse light. There's no middle brake light, there's this, which is kind of odd, but yeah, just wanted to point that out. So the three cylinder engine, pretty f***ing underpowered, but still pretty nice sounding. You know, it's probably only me who thinks that this actually sounds decent, but yeah, um, I think it sounds okay. As for driving, it's basically the same as the four-cylinder engine, except that it's a bit slower and a bit lighter. This car would be probably very fun to strip down, and uh, yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. gonna crash it once again yeah pretty average deformation nothing too special but I have to say I really dig this dark mint color there are also a couple of electric configurations for this car and uh, right now I'm using the highest end model bear in mind that there are also drag versions and race versions that use the electric motors so yeah, since this is the top end electric version, I'm gonna put it into sport mode and uh, start driving it. So this car is really, really, really quick. As I'll show you now, so I'm going at about 80 kilometers per hour and uh, I'm gonna slam the throttle. And yeah, this just takes off. Very, very fast. Love how the bumper was just rolling down the road. That was pretty neat. Plus, this thing still drives. It's not the best case scenario for the car. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So, there are some other rational configurations, but I don't have enough time to test them all. 
So, uh, yeah, I think now it's finally time to check out the good stuff. So, to kick things off, we have the donk configuration. On the back, it looks pretty normal, nothing too strange, maybe it's a bit higher than usual, nothing too weird. Now, I'm going to start rotating the camera. And uh, you'll notice that there's something a bit odd. It's very slight, you can't tell it immediately. So yeah, it has like 40 inch wheels. These are fucking insane. And um, yeah, this is pretty much it. So I'm gonna drive it, it doesn't drive that great. But yeah, let's just do it because why the fuck not? So this does not look stupid at all. The sad thing is that this turbo shit of a car is pretty far from being the most autistic configuration there is. There's much worse coming. So yeah, make sure you stick around. As for driving dynamics, well, it's slow as shit. It's heavy and it's uncontrollable. It's fucking bad. I mean, in the end, you have to make some trade-offs to be this stylish. So yeah, we've crashed and I uh, guess it's time to tackle the next car. So this Mad Max monstrosity is called the Derby Beast. Basically, it's an armored version of the Vertex. So the front bump armor kind of looks like a garden fence. And the cool thing is, the radiator of the car is on the roof. Yes, boys, that there is the radiator and it's positioned there to protect it from front impacts. The only problem is that if you roll over, it's gonna get smashed and you're gonna get covered in coolant, boiling hot coolant. So yeah, anyways, despite that very, very slight inconvenience, this should be actually a pretty compelling vehicle to smash. So I'm gonna drive carelessly and let's see how much it lasts you know what actually this doesn't drive too bad also you gotta love that exhaust reminds me of timmy such nice memories driving it on the inside this looks terrifying you can't see anything. It's basically totaled now. And as you can see, mounting the radiator on the roof has its drawbacks. So yeah, I'm gonna give the Derby Beast a solid six turds out of 10. So from now on, the cars are gonna be getting exponentially weirder. So now we have the truck engine swap and um, yeah basically has the six cylinder T-series engine slapped in the front and um, this is not a well balanced car, let me just get that out of the way. Also a nice touch is the fact that it has the actual T-series wheels which is kind of neat I have to say. So I'm gonna turn it on. So bear in mind that this is one shaky boy and I'm gonna show you now. It's vibrating like hell. And one annoying thing about this car is that you have to basically change two gears at a time. And yeah, even then, it kind of drives like shit. As for driving it in the cockpit, well, half of visibility is occupied by the massive engine. And uh, you've got all of the nice exhaust fumes coming straight at you. So yeah, the whole driving experience summed up is trying to figure out where the f*** you're going while inhaling all of your car's burnt gas. Another nice feature is this camera view, which is self-explanatory. And finally, we have the braking. Nicely balanced, 50-50 weight distribution, piece of art. 
So yeah, this is when I understood that the author of this mod is taking some pretty strong drugs. Next up, we have the Shinyard Edition, which is one of the many configurations inspired by YouTubers. So this car was directly inspired by Zbeev, the greatest abomination ever to come out of automation. And uh, yeah, this is just flawless design. So I'm gonna turn it on. It has a V6. And uh, it drives like shit. So yeah, this was the Shinyard car. Nothing else to say here. Up next we have the Spears Dragster. I think that's the way you pronounce it. This is a perfectly balanced and rational mod. Up next we have the so-called Fidget Spinner. And uh, this is one of the many Jato powered cars, but the special thing of the fidget spinner is the fact that the Jato engines are opposing each other. So with some simple mental calculations, you can predict what this car will behave like. So I'm gonna drive kind of in the center of this road. And yeah, it's Jato time. Holy shit. That was way faster than I was expecting. I'm gonna try it again in slow motion this time. This thing is instantaneous. Just look how everything gets ripped apart. It's literally getting squashed. Let me just turn off Jato. That's the engine there. And the centripetal forces are insane. We basically had a vertex pancake. So now we're starting to get in the really crazy ones. So this one here is called the meme and you have a bunch of 2018, 2019 memes such as Thanos car, Thanos car, Spooderman, Illuminati, Sanic, but it gets worse. We have a Zbeev inspired livery, we have cat ears, we have a nice hairstyle, there's the fucking Drake format right there. You got the E meme, some MLG shit, some other shit that I've never seen before. You got Doge, you got random explosions, you got Stonks boy. This car is basically a historical piece. How does it drive though? Four cylinder piece of shit. It's low, it's very slow. You can actually see where you're going while driving, which is impressive. But it is also actually kind of distracting. And um, yeah. It's just a meme, I guess. So unfortunately, this is the last car we've actually got time to check out. But yeah, this car here is called The Secret. So I'm gonna turn it on. It idles at 4,000 RPM and it revs up to 16,000 RPMs. Tell me this isn't broken. <laughs> so I'm gonna rev it, RIP headphone users. My ears. This is actually painful. So this car is just stupid to drive. I'm gonna put it into gear. That was barely tapping the throttle. And it fucking screams. It really 
it fucking hurts your ears. I mean, this is Karen level screaming. And yeah, as all of the other cars, it's completely balanced and completely rational. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try to see how fast I can actually make it go. Let's see. Ow, my ears. Can't keep it straight though. Well boys, this was the Gavel Vertex. Unfortunately, I don't have time to check out all of the 80 plus configurations, but anyways, I really recommend you to go download this mod. I haven't seen a BeamNG mod this good and this well made in a very, very, very long time. So as usual with these videos, the link is in the description down below. And yeah, I had a lot of fun and um, if you enjoyed the video, smash a like, subscribe, and yeah, I guess I'll see you soon.